it has been a long time since I've done one of my giving you face makeup, like makeover type videos. And I'm really excited because so many of my followers, both here on YouTube as well in social media, are women who are in love with the idea of drag. I'm finally being joined by, she's actually a woman, you guys. She's a real live woman. This is my friend Beth Spotswood, everyone. And Beth and I both know each other because we have worked in the media in San Francisco for a number of years. Currently, Beth works for the San Francisco Chronicle. How did you get involved with the Chronicle? I started writing online for the Chronicle almost exactly 10 years ago. Wow. And then I got a column every Thursday. I'm Ooh. actually, yes. And so I'm actually here. I'm trying to kind of explore parts of San Francisco that are keeping San Francisco alive one way or another on the spirit of San Francisco. And I think that you, my good friend, are one of those people. So well, I might take notes while we're here. I am very flattered to hear that. And I'm excited because of the fact that this is we're both used to interviewing people, but we're simultaneously interviewing each other. And we are going to give Beth a drag makeover. Have you thought about, do you want to be like glamour drag or do you want to be like high camp drag? Do you know the difference? Um, I think I know the difference, but I probably am wrong. I well, feel like glam uh -huh. is like looking more realistic. Like, so a, degree, like, yeah. a, like a dramatic Dallas socialite would be glam yes. drag. Okay, yeah, that's right. And when I come and see you perform, that's camp drag. <laughs> Like the eyebrows going up here. How very dare she say that I'm not glam. Or like, or like, okay. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> Priscilla, Queen of the Desert is camp. Yes, that's correct. Camp suggests more, everything is more like larger than life. And a lot of what we call faux queens or bio queens, which are women who do drag. Do you, you have a drag queen trapped inside you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. She's also very tall, so. Thank you. Thank you for that. She also hates mentioning how tall she is. But a, a lot of women go to more the camp route because of the fact that the idea of drag at its base is a man trying to look like a woman. So when it's a woman trying to look like a man, looking like a woman, yeah. if they do things that are too subtle, they just look like a woman with a lot of makeup. Right. And I've been that woman many times. So let's do camp. Okay. So camp cool. it up. So go camping. we're going to, we're going to go, go camp. Look at her. Let's go camping. Yes. She was already complaining that she's wearing too little I makeup. I only have like a BB or a CC cream on right now. Normally I would have makeup, like some makeup on. She, trust me. She's going to have a lot of makeup when this is all done. She already asked. Why glue, glue sticks? Glue. Well, girl, that's because we're about to glue down your eyebrows. So you guys, <laughs> oh, shit. wait for it. It's going to be good. A lot of the what I consider more successful or prominent bio or faux queens, especially in the San Francisco Bay Area, go larger than life. They look like a combination of a cartoon character and a Trixie Mattel, sort of like they that that's a great inspiration. Oh my god, I look like Voldemort. <laughs> a little bit. Well you're done. Oh my <laughs> god. I didn't realize that eyebrows are so necessary on a face. Beth has really gorgeous features, but because of the fact that we're trying to hide all of that, we're gonna exaggerate everything, remember, because we're going for this caricature type of appearance. I don't even recognize myself. Perfect. I'd like a fuller lip. Give her DSL. What's DSL? Dick sucking lips. Oh my. Better husband knows what DSLs are.
Presently, this is what I would call a contortion, where your contour actually looks like a contusion. <laughs> it's a contortion. Versus. We've got a leak. This is a good lesson for you guys to learn. Foundation is a drag queen's version of whiteout. I have this little product. It's a true match like this. You can get them at just any Walgreens, basically. So that just basically covered all that up. And then I can blend it a little bit. Do drag queens ever date drag queens? Yes, it's called Kai Kai. <gasps> what? There's an actual name for it. Oh my god. This is killing me. Daddy, Shit just got real. Where is my glitter? <laughs> I feel a touch of there's a real housewife that I'm looking like right now. You're looking like her right now. She must be a fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but whores are cool. Thank you. But whores are cool. But whores are cool. No, I, I said but whores. Oh, but whore. Mm -mm, no, thank you. I would like y'all to know that I care about her enough that I actually use the thirty dollar <gasps> bottle of glitter. Oh God! So this is this feels good. It feels right. <laughs> The lips are killing me. We drink this in. Yeah, drink it, drink it. What the fucking fuck? I just shit my pants. Please don't. Yeah. These are open now. This is as open as they get right now. Oh! 
I look like Jocelyn Wildenstein. The eyelashes have taken us to a a whole new place. Always they do. Oh shit. Excessive contour, which is great. You have that marionette thing that all the girls love. See, the contour yeah. is always like she's practically, practically a marionette. All right, everybody, this is the final look. Feels good. She kind of looks like a Muppet, don't you think? A little bit like a Muppet. I look like Erica Jane. <laughs> I don't know what fucking alternate reality she's living yes, in. Yes, I look like Erica <laughs> Jane. But how does it feel to have unleashed? Fucking fabulous. This feels so good. It feels like heavy and I like it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I can be like louder and I don't know. I just want to move around. I made sure that we gave her like that marionette jaw, like the severe contour. The big, oversized, like, slightly Trixie Mattel-ish eye. This is, you know what my favorite part is? I mean, I think it's all incredible, but the ombre lip. Yeah, she was featuring the ombre lip when we were doing it. I love the ombre lip. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. Another satisfied customer. All right, you guys, thanks for joining us. Oh, follow her on Twitter at sure. Beth Spotswood. Yeah. yeah, that's me. It's not a big deal. This feels so nice. Ah, oh, it's comfortable. For me and Erica Jane. It's like a Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.